Hey guys, so someone asked me uh, how do I tackle my perspective when I'm animating or storyboarding. Um, oftentimes I'll do, well I used to, um, <laughs> do uh, manual grids like this. I'll just draw it traditionally. Um, and these work, these are fine. Uh, I tend to like to play around when I'm working because I get bored. Uh, so oftentimes I'll change it up, but you can see why this is fine. Like this is it's traditional, and, but when you move the camera, it doesn't really it doesn't really behave like it should. So I want to have fun. I want to have fun with my uh, my scenes. So instead, I will make a grid using my 3D converted to uh, 2D converted to uh, 3D uh, technique, I guess. So just make a grid, and this is all in 2D. I haven't converted it to 3D yet, as of yet. So it's always going to be facing camera. Add a few things in here, make it all interesting. Okay, I'm being a little unnecessary, but you get the point, right? Okay, I think you do. I don't need to do all that. And now I'm going to hit the 3D. And here we are, and you see the orbiting tool. And yeah, and now we can fully utilize the top view. I have my top view and my side view panels uh, together so in case I need to ever change how I attack the layer. Um, but yeah, as you can see it's flat so from the top you can see it uh, in full and you can manipulate it as you would do it on the camera view as well. And there you have it. That's your that's your uh, grid. That's your perspective grid. And you can move your camera around. You can do whatever you want. Shake it, bake it, do whatever you want. I think for fun, I'm gonna actually make another piece. I'm gonna add a wall and give you a better idea of uh, just how how useful this is, you know? Uh, in later videos, I'm actually going to show you how to animate onto 3D. So, trying to uh, piece these videos together. So, if you haven't, if you have questions, it might have been answered in other videos. Please check those out. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.